we didn't price gouge. A bill that would change Idaho's price gouging laws has cleared a hurdle now in the state Senate. The proposal comes after a settlement between three Idaho gas chains and the state attorney general's office. The AG's office claiming Stinker, Maverick and Jackson's gas stations price gouged customers last spring, even though they didn't raise their prices. Now in that settlement, all three companies did not admit to any wrongdoing. Joey Prechtel reporting live for us tonight. So Joey, what exactly would this proposal accomplish? Well, Mark, it would change state law. So moving forward, the AG's office would no longer be able to look when they're investigating price gouging into the company's margins. This is what they did with those gas stations last year at the very start of the pandemic. Now, the AG's office said if this bill passes, then it will actually weaken consumer protection laws. But the gas stations say the law needs to be clarified. Price gouging is an ugly term. But that's what three Idaho gas retailers were accused of doing in the early part of the pandemic. Fundamentally, Senate Bill 1041, if enacted, will make price gouging easier and Idaho's consumers more vulnerable to that during an emergency. That's Deputy Attorney General Brett DeLang explaining why he thinks price gouging occurred. The retail prices went down. The average wholesale price dropped much, much more. Basically, the AG's office examined how much were they buying the gas for and then selling it back to you, the consumer. Shortly after the emergency declaration, the margins increased. They grew until they were more than six times the historic average of Idaho. But here's the thing. While the margins did increase, the gas stations didn't actually raise their prices. Oil prices tanked when the pandemic hit due to a decrease in demand from stay at home orders. We went from you know robust fuel sales to uh, really diminished fuel sales. Charlie Jones is the president of Stinker Stores and was shocked by the price gouging investigation. I didn't raise my prices. No retailer in Idaho raised their prices during the pandemic because frankly, there wasn't a shortage of fuel. So that's where Senate Bill 1041 comes in. What we're doing is refining the language in the statute to reflect the legislative intent back in 2002. If approved, the retailer will have to increase their prices by an excessive amount to be considered price gouging. It also won't look at margins. We want to fix this uh, forever so that um, if this situation ever comes up again, he can't come at us again. But the AG's office says the legislation will only leave consumers at risk in the future. Such action in the attorney general's view is the wrong policy at the wrong time, wrongly impacting our citizens in our state at the worst possible time. Now, the AG's office is also concerned with another part of the bill that says when they start to investigate a price gouging claim, they're going to have to look at why that price increased. And part of that could be uh, they have to take into consideration the increased price is due to a loss of sales or because of how much volume of that product has actually been sold. So a big reason why they're concerned is because they say any retailer in the future, if this bill passes, will be able to say they had to increase their prices because they suffered a loss of sales because of the ongoing emergency. Now, overall, after the committee, the senators ended up siding with the gas stations. They passed this bill unanimously with a due pass recommendation, and it now heads to the Senate floor. Back to you. All right, Joey Prechtel reporting live for us tonight. Joey, thanks.